Hi, it's good to be back with you again. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July holiday. And I look forward to spending the second half of the summer doing work with you to continue moving our community forward. This week's From the County Manager column is focused on some excellent work that has come out of our efforts with law enforcement partners led by Ramsey County Attorney John Choi and his team around pretextual or non-public safety traffic stops. A few weeks ago, there was a board workshop on this topic. If you have the time, I would encourage you to watch the workshop in full to greater understand the data and the important detail of what we learned through this important work that began a few years ago. Simply put, the county attorney's office worked with local law enforcement agencies in some of Ramsey County's largest cities to talk about stopping the practice of pulling over cars and creating officer and resident interactions on our roadways for things that were defined as non-public safety or pretextual stops. Something like a tail light being out or something hanging down from your rear view mirror. These are not stops being made as speeding violations and there is a belief that these stops when looked at through data would show that racial disparities are greater for these lower level types of stops, which are not at the core function of why law enforcement is out on our streets every day maintaining traffic safety. The data is in after 18 months of work and that information was shared in the workshop that we had. It shows a significant reduction in disparities in who is stopped on our streets particularly in the cases of black and brown individuals who were disproportionately stopped the most for pretextual or non-public safety stops in the past. Equally important, the argument that guns or other extremely dangerous uh, in implements can be discovered during these traffic stops was shown to happen in an infinitesimally small number of overall stops meaning it is not a significant driver in preventing other types of crime by pulling people over for non-public safety related reasons. And the data walks through this in more information I can share with you in a couple minutes this morning. Most importantly, the takeaway should be this. By ending the practice in many of our communities of using limited officer time on non-public safety stops, by ending that practice, more time was available for officers to be dealing with traffic safety and other important issues outside of the traffic realm that are a core function of law enforcement's job, keeping us safer and ensuring that the most significant issues receive the most attention. This is good work in government. This is nation leading work. And this is work that has taken brave partners from the county attorney's office and many of our law enforcement agencies and cities across Ramsey County. I want to commend the county attorney for taking a lead in this important work. I want to thank Ramsey County's team for continuing to support that work in many different ways as it has moved ahead. And I look forward to the continued phases in these efforts as we better center our public safety resources on the needs in this community to ensure that we are keeping everyone safe in ways that are fair, transparent, and equitable for every member of our community. Thanks for taking a few minutes to check out the board workshop and hear this week's video. Can't wait to be back with you again soon. And in the meantime, I hope you're enjoying your summer.